Hello and welcome to the 93rd video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in C. It's been a while since the last video, but hopefully you remember in the last video that if I run Vice, which I've just before the video compiled again here, that we're reading in our polyglot book where the entries are found, and then we'd added something into the export mode where if I just type new and force and then poly key, that for the current position available we get given along with the polyglot hash key and the index inside the book, the move. Well, what we're going to do in this video then is, oops, need to quit there first, is we're going to take terminal away and we're now going to change some of the code around inside our polybook.c to actually start converting the move that we find inside the polyglot book into our internal move. The first thing we need to do is on the get book move function here is just remove the const from this because we'll actually be needing to manipulate our board and you'll see why shortly. And then also in defs.h you've got the get book move here. Just remove the const from there as well. And that's it for those two changes there. Now the way we're going to do this, just as a word of explanation, is you remember from the last video we've already got the ability to get the file and the rank characters um, from the, the move from the polyglot book and we showed in the previous video when they're printed to screen that they're correct. We could be fairly satisfied they're correct. So what we can actually do is we can be a little bit lazy and rather look at the promotion piece inside this move and then iterate over the board to see whether it was on passant and construct our move integer that way is a much quicker way and that's simply to put together um, so an array of characters with the file car and the rank car and then the promotion piece if necessary and simply use the inside the io.c remember we've got this pass move function here which is why I needed to take the const off the board so what we'll simply do is create an array of the characters and then we'll use this pass move function here to see if the move exists on the board and then return the internal move integer exactly as the way this is used when a user types a move in in XBoard. So that saves a little bit of time. Fortunately that means we need to make a few changes to the functions here. So the first thing we're going to do is, let me think, let me think, let me think because I'm doing this on the fly which is always a bad idea, but never mind. Right, so inside list book moves, first thing we'll do, we'll change this start to an index because we won't be needing start anymore, but we will use this index to print the moves, the internal move list at the end. And then the other thing we should do is make an array to actually store the book moves that we found because what we'll be doing in a later video is then picking at random a move from this array. And we need to determine what size we want this array to be. So just to be lazy, let's just do a const int here and just say max book moves. And let's set that to 32. I mean, I'd be very surprised if uh, any position has more than 32 moves. And then what we'll do is set the size of our array here to uh, th the 32 moves as well. So this array here will store our internal integer format moves. The next thing we need is we'll need a temporary move here just for what we get back from our passing the move and we'll also make a counter that we can use to index our book moves array and set that to zero. Okay, so if we go now into this loop here, you remember here that we extract the move here using the endian swap when the poly key is the same as the key that we're looking for. So what we can do now actually is we'll actually take away this printf statement here because we don't need it anymore and now what we want to do is we actually want to assign temp move the conversion of the polyglot move here now the conversion here is a function which we're about to write and we'll call this convert poly move to internal move like so and we'll send in the move and we'll send in our board. Once we've done that then, and don't worry if this function hasn't been defined but we'll be doing it shortly, we can say then that if the temp move is not equal to no move, it means our move parser found this uh, move on the board, so we can add this then to our book moves. 
So we can just say book moves and count is equal to our temp move. Now I could actually post increment count here, so I will. Like so. And the last thing we want to do here is actually say, just to make darn sure of things, if count is greater than our max book moves, then we'll just break out of this loop and stop adding book moves. 32 is actually enough and the loop continues. Okay. The last thing I want to do in this function before we go actually into the conversion function is just print off the list of our book moves. So we'll just say print off and just put listing uh, book moves with a new line and a squiggly thing, which was by accident, and a colon. Okay, and now you'll see why I actually have the um, index here. In fact, I need to remove the start as well because I don't need it anymore, do I? So uh, what I can do is now I can say for index equals zero and index is then less than count. And I'm sorry for the terrible typing as usual. Plus plus index. And now we can simply then print our move to the screen. So we'll just say print F and we'll call it uh, book move We'll say what number it is and then we'll just print the move string as well which should be fairly familiar when I call the function because we've done all that many times previously in the program so the book move obviously is just index plus one and then we have our PR move and we can send in then our book moves at index the integer for actually printing the move Good then, so that should be printing the list of the book moves we found and stored inside our book moves array. Now obviously this won't compile yet because we haven't written the main function of this video, the convert poly move to internal move, and that's what we're going to do now. So it returns then obviously an integer. We'll call it convert poly move to internal move. And this takes then in the unsigned short format that polyglot has for the polyglot move and also we'll take in the pointer to our internal board and the reason remember we're doing this is because the pass move function that's in the io.c requires the board because it generates the moves to check what you've submitted against what it's got in the internal move list so now i've done that make some space and I'm going to copy and paste a little bit of code in here because I've deleted something a little bit too hastily here. But luckily on the right hand side of me, I've still got the original code available. Before I do that, though, I'll just do one line so you understand what it's about. If we take the from file, you remember from the previous video that we we know from the schematic that's defined on HG Muller's site here, which bits contain which file row and the relevant promotion piece. Well, that's all that we're going to be doing here. So we know that the from file is our move shifted by six bits and then ended with seven. And I'm not going to paste all this in actually. I'm going to say that the from rank then was shifted by nine and ended with seven. If you're wondering how I know this off by heart, I've got it next to me, so I'm cheating. And then the two file is the poly move shifted by zero and ended with seven. Obviously we don't need to do the zero, but for completeness it's always uh, good to have that there. The two rank is then the poly move shifted by three and ended with seven. And now another thing we'll do is we'll do a PP. So it's the promotion piece and that's the poly move shifted by 12 and ended with seven. If I just go back to the spec here, you'll see here that the last so from the 12th bit onwards, 30 bit, 12, 13 and 14 are the promotion piece, which is encoded like so, knight 1, bishop 2, rook 3 and queen 4. So bearing that in mind, we'll get the promotion piece from the move um, like so, although I'd be very astonished if an opening book actually had a promotion inside it. So once we've done that, then we can now go about making our move string. So we'll make a car array and call it move string and we'll give it some space for the null terminator. So we'll give it six characters worth of space if there's a promotion. And now we can say is if our promotion piece equals zero, it means there was no promotion. 
And all we do then inside here is we just call sprintf, which I'm sure you know from normal C stuff. So we'll just put into our move string then our four characters. And now the ball ache, which is doing it like so. So we want the file car of the uh, from file. And in fact, I'm going to be lazy and hopefully not make any drastic spelling mistakes here. We need the rank car and the rank car. And then we've got the from file and the from rank. And we've got the to file and the to rank in here. So that will put these four characters into our move string, as I'm sure you're aware. Otherwise, we need to have a look at the promotion. So we'll make a car here for the promotion character. And we'll set this by default to be a queen, so a small q. And now what we can say is we can just say to switch our promotion piece, our pp. And now we can say case. And remember, the one was a knight in the specification, so we just say case one, and then we'll just set prom car equal to knight and break. I'll just be lazy and copy that, and a knight and break. Otherwise, let's just copy this a couple more times. We're going to have a bishop or a rook, remember, because we've already got the queen, and that was two and three. And we don't need a default on this because we already have the queen by default. OK, so the next thing to do then is exactly the same as we've done above. So I'm going to copy this and drop these in. We need to add one more character on for the promotion piece, which means we need to also add then our prom car like so onto the end of the sprintf statement. So now we have inside our move string then our move, either with the e2, e4 format or the e7, e8 queen format with the five characters like so. All that's remaining is actually is simply at the bottom of this function, just make some space, is just to then return, and we simply want to return the passing move from the io.c of our move string. And this is where we send our board in. And we know that that function will return a no move if it doesn't find the relevant move inside the book. And that's all there is to it. So off screen now, just very quickly, I'm going to hold my breath and compile and see just how badly this has gone or how many errors I've made. And I've made one un uh, undeclared identifier board where have I made a mistake here. Bear with me a moment. 381. Ah, you should also have added inside the list book moves function here. Sorry, I forgot about this. The pointer to the board here, because obviously we're using it inside here, which also means obviously we'll need at the bottom here to put the board in as well. Right, I'll just try and make that again off screen so you can't see the embarrassment and it seems to have worked. So I'll just bring that back. I'll just type make once more so you can see that it's been done. And now if I run vice and everything is as it was before and do export and new and then force so that the engine doesn't move when we make a move or anything like this and now we'll just type poly key and now you can see that book move one two three and four are the same as they were in the previous video except this time these are being printed from our internal move format so if i type something now like uh, user move and then e2 e4 and now just go for poly key again. You can see we have the E7, E5 and C, uh, sorry, E7, E5 and C7, C5 book moves as in the previous video, but this time with our internal move. So good, all of that seems to be working. And actually the only thing that's remaining to be done now, which I'll do in the next video, because this one has already gone far too long, is simply to pick one of these moves randomly and put some options into the engine so the user can say whether they want the engine to use its book or not. So I hope that makes some sense. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.